All right, YouTube, as you see from the title and thumbnail, this video is going to be how to reset faster on controller. This tip is going to be how to reset faster on controller and fights. So make your way to your settings. Go to the second page, scroll down and under building, it's this setting right here. Reset building choice. Most of you guys should have this setting on. But if you don't, I know there's still a lot of people out there that have this setting off. Make sure to turn this setting on. From what I've seen, this setting is barely talked about. So even if you already have it on, I'm still going to explain what it does anyways. So let's read what the game has to say about this setting. When on, switching to build mode will always bring up the first build piece. When off, the game will remember and bring up the last build piece you were using. So the reason you want to turn that setting on is for situations like this. So let's pretend there's an opponent in this box. So we're gonna go for peace control. So we're gonna place a wall, do a peanut butter edit. Then we're gonna place a cone and then we're gonna go for a shot. So we're gonna take a shot. And as you guys should know, when you reset on controller, you should press switch mode first and then reset. I'm not about to explain why you have to click switch mode first when resetting. I made a whole nother video about that 11 months ago. The video is called how to get instant reset on controller. A picture of the video I'm talking about will be on the screen and also the link will be in the description. So after this video, just go check that video out if you want to know why you have to click switch mode first when resetting on controller. I explain it very good in that video and I go in depth. All right, let me try to explain this to the best of my ability. So I placed the wall, right? And then I placed the cone. Then I took out my shotgun and took a shot. So the last build I placed was a cone. Look, I placed a cone, got out of switch mode, went back in switch mode, and now I have my wall out. And that's what that setting does. No matter if you place a stair, when you get out of switch mode, when you go back, it will always be a wall. Now, let me give you guys a little preview on why that's good for switch mode resetting. Because when you press switch mode, when you're ready to reset, so you take a shot and you're ready to reset, you could be looking up here. But as long as you have your wall out, you could always reset the build. You could be looking over here. You could always reset the build no matter what. And you don't have to worry about having your wall out because no matter what build piece you place, when you get out of switch money, you go back, it will always be your wall. And when you have that setting off, when you place the wall, do a peanut butter edit and press the cone, and then take a shot, the last build piece you placed was the cone. So when you pull out your switch mode to reset this wall, your cone's gonna be out, as you see. And then when you go to reset, you can't reset. It's just gonna go, it's gonna try to reset this cone. It might try to reset this cone. You're not gonna be able to reset this wall. And by the time you manually click R2, so it can have your wall out and you reset, it's gonna be way too slow. On controller, we already have a resetting disadvantage. Keyboard and mouse has scroll will reset. We have a three or four button reset. So that's already a disadvantage. So you having to manually click R2, that's like a five button reset. Look, let me show you guys. So I'm gonna go to settings, second page, building. I'm gonna turn this off, which you don't want, but I'm just showing you guys. Look, I place a cone. Go for a shot. If I want to reset this wall in front of me, let's pretend there's a wall in front of me. Look, the last build I placed was a cone. If I place a stair, go for a shot, pull out my switch mode, stair. That is horrible and you do not want that. So turn that setting on. Let me turn that back on now. Matter of fact, reset building choice on apply. So I turned the setting back off just to show you guys one more example on why you should have this setting on and not off. So let's say there's someone in front of me, wall, cone, Shoot, reset. I'm not going to be able to reset because I have my cone out. It says floor because my reset is R1, so I'm clicking R1 to try to reset. But if I never clicked R1, I'll still have my cone out and I won't be able to reset smoothly. And by the time I realize this and I click R2 to reset, I'm going to get shot. And now I have the setting back on, so let me show you guys what I mean. Cone, wall, cone, take a shot, let it take a shot. See, I can look up here, still reset. That's the power of switch mode resetting and having that setting on at the same time. I could do a Mongo Classic through a window and still do the switch mode reset because I have the setting on and it's going to go back to a wall, not a stair. So I place the wall, stair, Mongo Classic, take a shot, and I can still switch mode reset because I have that setting on and it's going to go to the wall, not the stair. Most of you guys don't switch mode reset. You guys like to reset with your gun like this. You shoot up here and go all the way down, which is so slow compared to how I reset. This is how I reset. Like that, or like, I don't even gotta move. Yeah, I'm not always gonna be able to do the resetting without the switch mode like this. Like without switch mode, which is very slow. 
because you might be in a situation where you're under a stair like this and the wall is edited like this and what are you gonna grab because obviously when you reset like that you have to grab something how are you gonna you can't grab the wall you have to come over here but let's say you can't go over there let's say the opponent is right here so you put like a switch mode and you reset and since you have the setting on it's automatically gonna go to your wall so you can reset like that and then if you have the setting off it's possible that the last build you placed was like a cone so you go to you go to try to reset and it won't it won't let you reset the wall because your cone is out and then by the time you press r2 to reset the wall this guy's gonna take a shot at you this guy's gonna run at you and then when you reset he's still gonna be in the box it's just you want to have that setting on that's it for me like up the video comment if you have any questions subscribe it to the post notifications so you never miss a future upload i'll holla at ya peace